No, I'm good on my own. I love baby dog. Can you just stop screaming? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the dumpster fire I call I Charlie. How do you like my Dolores lip? How do you like it? Okay, so my last like three ish years have been. One hell of a ride. And for anyone who has heard this story before, yes, I will milk that shit until the day that I die. And will I regret anything? Certainly not. And for anyone that is new here, from the year 2018 up until the year 2021, I was in a relationship with a man that was not, he was not nice. And part of our whole relationship contract that we had going was that I wasn't really allowed to dress like anything but... Casper, just basically the more invisible, the better. And you're probably asking yourself why, which is a very justified question. The only real answer that I have for this is I think that if I had been any less bland than like mayonnaise or toast or Nate from Gossip Girl, I know he's hot, okay, but like, come on, he's like really boring. There would have just been too much confidence, you know, like obviously a partner that asks the other partner to never shine in any sort of way. Well, I mean, look at the fact that just says it all. It must be such a confident person, right? And so so if I had shown an inch of self-love, I guess there would have just been too much confidence in the room. So I just had to become nothing. And so then after three years of making myself as small as humanly possible, that person decided to then text me and be like, actually, I think we don't work as a couple. I think it was better if we stayed friends, so. Yeah, that was a bit annoying, but at least it gave me enough emotion in order to finally be fed up with this whole thing of catering to anyone and everyone but myself. And I was just like, no more, no more. I'm gonna do me, 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 and only me. And what does me, me, and only me mean? It means, well, I can't really afford to go to Italy and eat, pray, love around town. So for me, it just means I'm, I go thrift. Yeah, but I'm not just gonna go and thrift anything. I'm not just gonna go to the store and pick whatever I like. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go onto Pinterest and I'm finally give these fits that have literally been chilling on my freaking Pinterest board for years at this point, a chance to come to life and I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna thrift my dream Pinterest closet. Can you tell I'm very passionate about this topic? This has been, this, this has like, yeah. I've been waiting for this. I really shouldn't go into commercials. Like, I'm really not good. <laughs> like, however, I might be an Aries sun, but I am a Libra moon, so I do need a little bit of organization in my life. And as much as I would love to own any of these outfits that I got going on there, I can't really do that because I don't have that much money. But what I can do is look at all of the fits and just like pay attention to all of the things that are sort of like overlapping, you know? Because I think the essentials really are what make the look. We're gonna do this in a smart way, in an organized way, but in a very, I am, I am free. Florence and the machine. Sometimes I feel like I should be medicated. No, not anymore. So let's go on a journey to find myself or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. Let's just, let's go. Okay, so hello from future or I suppose past because you're gonna watch this after I edited this. And editing me is gonna be more future me, but even that is gonna become past. It doesn't matter. Hello, I'm here because I wanna look at some Pinterest boards. Ew. <laughs> I just, oh my God. I just saw that my ex's Google account is still Don't worry, I'm not gonna fuck shit up, okay? I'm very mature, okay? I'm not, I'm not. I'm just gonna look at Pinterest boards. Okay, wait, hold up. They want me to sign in? Like, I don't know my Pinterest password. Who knows their Pinterest password? Let's do this on my phone. Let me make a board myself. We wanna narrow this down, right? I know that trends come and go and everything like that, but I really, I see myself wearing these like Y2K things for a long time, even if they're like totally ugly in a few years. But as you can tell, like I saved quite a lot of pictures here. So I wrote down the essentials, which are, first up, a leather bomber jacket. Even though I'm not sure about the bomber, but definitely Oh, there's there's just so many good leather picks secondly a striped scarf and like let me tell you does anyone remember this like british vlogger scarf that was so in in the 2010s these like scarves that were so big they were basically like blanket which in itself was great because you could just like wrap yourself in your scarf whenever you got cold in your scarf <laughs> I'm, I'm irish now in your scarf but i have very curly hair whenever i would wear these my hair would just like get tangled up and it would be so bad that i just had like one blob of hair and i had to pick it up 
apart at the end of the day. It was horrible. Very glad that I'm not wearing these things anymore. Then I really want to get into some wild pants territory. I definitely want something, well, like I said here, with flair, but I just, I, I saw this like one pair of striped pants. So I would really like to get something like this. Striped sweaters because we love our stripes apparently. And long skirts. So many long skirts. Do you ever just like scroll through your own photo gallery and all of a sudden you see a picture like this? And it's like, what was wrong? Like, <laughs> I kind of look like a predator. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this black skirt. It reminds me really of like Phoebe Buffet. <gasps> oh my God. I thought I would not be able to find a pair of striped pants. I'm gonna be real with you. And now I go on to here. And it's like a mom selling her striped pants. Are you joking me? My therapist says I am in my house too much. So a few days later, I also went outside. How do it girls like pose in front of the mirror? They're like this. No, but they do these like crazy zoomed in ones. Like, ooh. Ooh. How do you do the ooh? I don't know because I feel like that's the sound that they would make. Ooh. If they had like a sound effect, you know, like my sound effect would be like a spring, like boing, boing, boing. And theirs would be like, ooh. Okay, hello, hello. Live from the thrift store. I can't decide. Do we go from this? Do we choose Chad? Why am I gonna go fishing in Alaska? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Are we Scandinavian or are we American? I don't know. To go after your Pinterest board or like recreating your perfect in Pinterest board, then I mean the leather jacket fits more into the picture, doesn't it? It's the picture. I think I have made my decision. I think I'm gonna go fishing. We gonna go fishing? What? It's not Chad, it's Pete. It's Pete? Oh my god! It is Pete! <laughs> I think I feel comfortable leaving Pete behind and being like, well, I'm gonna come here next week and if Pete is still here, then I'm gonna pick up Pete. Let's do the destiny thing with Pete. But I don't feel comfortable leaving her, him, them it. behind. I don't know why, I don't know what it is about her, but she's calling me. She's calling me. I guess I have to make my decision. Okay. Thank you. Wait. Thank you. Outfit check. Socks. Grocery store. Thrifted. Zara. My mom's. Not bought. I don't remember. Thrifted probably. <laughs> Do a twirl for us. Let it drip! Oh! To be able to be a model, I can't pose. Like for real. I'm that so was beautiful. Awesome. What are you talking about? That was gorgeous. So elegant. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna go and fish some sharks. I don't know. She goes for the sharks. Well, yeah, this coat doesn't go for small fish, okay? We're not about the sardines, we're about the big fish. Good. Am I aware that I look a little bit white right now? Yes. Why? Because, well, I basically just woke up. Also, just had an emotional phone call. All right, we're... We're trying to live out here. I'm not here to talk about my beauty or my whatever you want to call this. I am here to take care of some shoes because, you know, sometimes you thrift something and it's just not how you, if, oh my God. Do you see how I'm like, I'm like a WAP. I'm like whopping right now. Um, sometimes you thrift something and you like the idea of it and then you get it, but then you go home and realize like, actually, I'm not really gonna wear this. And this is sort of like this. I really, I love this shoe. The color looks a little bit different on camera right now. I'm realizing it looks way more brown. In real life, it's like really like diarrhea color. And I'm sure that if I had a different skin color, it might look better. But with my skin, I don't know. It just doesn't look very good in my opinion. But the most important thing is it just doesn't go with most of the things that I own because... For example, this is one of my most worn leather pieces. It's my leather trench coat. And as you can tell, it's like a very dark chocolate rich brown. And then this, it seems like they go together on camera, but they really don't. And so because I have so much like dark brown, I do want to make these shoes dark brown as well. Let me go ahead and do that. This like leather color and they gave me like a little brush with it. Can you see it? I did a little bit of preparation. Okay, so don't get mad at me. I have like gloves, so I don't like poison myself and I'm gonna open up the windows if like the gas is gonna I don't know, kill me. Let's just see. Let me time lapse me perhaps myself right now.
can be shopping. I went a little overboard. I got a lot of stuff. Really excited because I haven't tried on 90% of this. Okay, some of these things, I'm gonna be honest with you because if I'm one thing, then that is real. I have used them in other outfit videos because like they arrived early. I'm not gonna apologize for my happiness and for my excitement. If I get excited about an article of clothing, then I'm gonna wear that piece of clothing. Only Sarah Jessica Parker can judge me, okay? So let us commence with, I suppose me showing you everything that I got and then trying it on and then looking like the fashionista that I've always wanted to be. And I was just like, I'm so excited. Okay, so first of all, let's start with like accessories or like shoes. I know I've already made videos about these. Obviously, I know I had to cut, edit, produce all of these videos. So I know I've already talked about these. Well, I know you're not supposed to pick favorites, but I'm gonna pick favorites. This is this is my favorite part. This is the favorite thing I've bought this year. Like these. <gasps> oh. Then now the exciting reveal of the boots that I colored earlier in this video. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is them. Moving on to accessories. I got a few hats. I got a bucket hat because I don't own a bucket hat and this looked like really cute. So I was like, let's go. I've never tried it on. I think it, I think I just discovered that bucket hats don't look good on me. I got a pack of three. <sighs> it's okay. Having peaky blinders, it's giving Tommy. Because, because we, we fucking, fucking can. can. Because, because we, we fucking, fucking can. Can. I recently had to play around of Mary Kill, which was Hojier, Kelly Murphy, and Harry Styles, which is like, excuse me, I have a Harry Styles poster hanging right there. So obviously me and Harry are in love, but no, I'm not in love with Harry. I love Harry. Like I want the best for him. He's kind of like, he feels like a brother to me. And so I was like, okay, Harry, you know, the whole, a movie within a movie, like this whole thing. I gotta give you a timeout for that one, so I'm gonna kill you. But then I was like, Killian. Killian owns like a fucking 16th century castle. I wanna live in that. I wanna live in that. And I want someone to whisper into my ear every single night, being like, Right, so we're going to go to the farmer's market tomorrow. We're going to get some flowers. And then we're going to go somewhere, beautiful spot, and I'm going to kiss you and tell you that I love you. Like, excuse me? Just imagining it. Killian, stop! Stop. Anyways, but I did end up deciding to f Killian and marry Hojir because like, Excuse me! Hojir? Could you imagine him like singing me to sleep? Oh my god. Then we also got this bag. You've already seen this, but this bag. Then these just like gray, simple. This red stripe one. Oh my god. Isn't this so beautiful? And then this one and the colors. I was like too sure about it. Okay. Moving on, on to clothes. We got this completely like a 90s inspired dress. Oh my god. I think that this will look so good with these okay not to toot my own horn but i feel like i made like the best thrift finds even though am i even tooting my own horn i think i'm just like i'm tooting lux horn i got so lucky the details um <laughs> Am I giving sexy art teacher the PE teacher would cheat on his wife with me? Also, can I just say, I think in these heels, I'm like six foot five. Like I am so tall. I love being tall and scary and long. A friend of mine, her dad called her recently and she was like, oh yeah, I'm hanging out with Charlotte right now. And he wanted to know which friend it is because like obviously dads never know who the fuck you are even though you've met them. Well, I only met him once. Okay, I have to give him the benefit of the doubt. But he was like, okay, like which friend is this? And she was like, Charlotte, like, you met her and then he didn't say oh charlotte right yeah like i met her that one time no 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 no. he went oh the long one yeah <laughs> we got this then i don't know whether you remember my purple slander because i feel like everyone that claims that their favorite color is purple they really identify with the fact that their favorite color is purple but i did some purple slander at the beginning of my video and now i own this i am i'm obsessed i love the sweater and the skirt together but i feel like the skirt is a little too long like i think i want it like here the way it sits you know and then the sweater and I know like crop top and like, oh my God, my tummy's free and oh my God, it's gonna be cold. I don't care boomers. Okay, I don't care. I would rather be cold and look hot than be hot and look cold, I guess. I, I have an idea for this sweater. Wait. I know I have been saying slay so many times already and I know that it's really annoying. Like I'm not even gonna pretend like I don't know. I know it's annoying, but like, Are you, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because if you didn't just yourself say, okay, slay, then 
I think you have to be blind. If this is not giving British Christmas movie main love interest, but she's like entangled with her boyfriend, but like you really want her. And she also wants you, but it's like complicated. I don't know, in the end we get together, it doesn't matter. Like it's giving, I'm gonna get together with the prime minister, right? Like Hugh Grant, Hugh Grant back then, not nowadays. Like with peace and love, Hugh Grant, you got some stuff going on. But back then, back then, oh, we would have been a thing. And we basically have the same thing in brown, which it was like red before, but I colored it brown. Okay, now's the question. What were you thinking? Sewage water or coffee? This says a lot about your personality. I like this, but I feel like the other fits were like a lot like bigger and more exciting. So I think this is like the most basic one out of all of them. But I mean, okay, a skirt that does this when I twirl. Someone play Hogier. Her eyes and words. I so I see but she looks like your mother fight. Oh no, oh no, oh oh no, I overdid it. Oh oh no. Oh I forgot, I forgot that you get dizzy when you spin. Oh no, I I how do you at 24 years old forget like basic physics? Like how do you forget that you get dizzy when you spin? Then my pride and my joy, some low-rise jeans that they do give me quite the camel toe this cropped sweater which i know it's like simple but we do love the stripes please cross your fingers for me that i don't have a camel toe and if i do we're just gonna keep quiet about it okay you know how rich people are always like many can my happiness like um it's like the love and the family and like yeah i get it like all right but i am very happy right now kim kardashian speak up okay, because i haven't worn this once i feel like i should wear this scarf with it but i have to admit i like this more with it so i'm going to go with this now does it make sense that in the middle of winter or autumn my whole ass stomach is out honestly i'm not on this channel to question my own decisions i'm just here to have fun so i think the fact that we're even asking this question is irrelevant so let me have my fun very like rose as i know like there are roses on it so i don't just mean that but like this one look from titanic that rose wore it really reminds me of that i'm aware that like the black sleeve underneath is like a little bit repetitive but i wore it like this beforehand and it just it didn't look bad but it wasn't giving what i wanted it to give like i feel like i would wear this on a first date did you think so it's really romantic then we got this and like I love the pattern. It's giving like Christmas dad. Yes. <sighs> okay, look, I'm not delusional. I am aware that this look is like a little bit basic. It's giving like 2014 Tumblr. I know, but this look is my guilty pleasure, okay? When I was 2014 Tumblr, when I was just the consumer of these pictures, I wanted to be this girl so bad and well i could have done a lot but like no matter what i would have done i would have never ended up looking like this girl because this is what i look like in the year 2014 now that i have the resources and with that i don't mean money i mean i i have eyebrows nowadays i just i cannot help but want to make my childhood dream you know i just can't help but want to dress like this it's a skirt by the way this is not a skirt it's a skirt it's like pants and my well they're dark martins but they're giving creeper vibes from back then and like the oversized grandma sweater that was like so in back then like the ugly sweater you know like oh my god every girl had those and these ones, okay, I love them, but I think it's a bit risky because I think they might be a little bit too small on me. Was I right with the suspicion that this would be too small? Absolutely. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is slaying so hard. And the fact that this wasn't even part of this thrift haul, but I've never worn this before, even though I thrifted this in pairs last year, but I just, I never had an outfit to wear it with. I don't know why, but I feel so French. I feel so French. Like I feel like like I'm an artist and I live in France and I don't know, it could be because this is from France. But I just feel so international. Right? I'm in love with this and I will wear this. You know, I'm not sure whether I should wear this because I feel like if I bend down, I'm gonna be SpongeBob in that episode. You know what I mean? And I don't really want to have a lobster singing about me. However, my pants like then this cord. Sakurt. 
Okay, I tried to style this the way that I would style this, but I don't know whether this is like slaying. I don't know. I really like the outfit. I guess that is the only thing that matters, right? But I think it needs more accents, like accents of color. Yes, now. Now. Now we are talking. Like, yes. This is what I wanted to give. You know, like my life motto sometimes is like eat the rich and like anti-capitalism and everything like that. But sometimes, sometimes I, I want to look like them. Sometimes I want to look a little bit posh. posh. I feel good. I feel like I'm expensive. I feel like I would buy like macaroons in the middle of London for like 12 pounds a piece. And now, the piece that has caused quite the emotional reaction. If you remember, the star of the show. The striped pair of pants. Okay, I am wearing the pants. I like them a lot. But I have to be honest, as I always am, they are a little much short. But either way, I am very grateful. Like. And also with the shoes. Excuse moi. I'm beaming. I'm beaming. I am so happy. We love. Do you ever put on an outfit and it doesn't just like give you confidence, but you just feel like a different person, like a genuinely like different person. Like you you see yourself from like the POV from another person and like you 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 feel what they would think of you. And if I saw myself in this like outfit just walking around town, oh my god. I would love me. And so be the change you want to see in the world. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Asking him to change his ways. Okay, I'm like thrifting. And now that I've shown all of this, I completely forgot about showing you my biggest find. I gave it the name Martin, so please let's welcome Martin. Hello, Martin. Did anyone else grow up longing for their father's love and so they would sit down and watch like all of the TV shows that they were watching with them on the TV? And now you have like odd interests, like for example, fishing. Ugh, I can't fish because it's like against my own ethics. But as a child, I used to always go fishing and watch all of these TV shows about fishing, so I love fishing. And I used to love this one TV show where like people go to Alaska on like a really big boat and they wouldn't fish fish, they would fish like crabs, I think. And it's like one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. But I feel like one of those, I feel like this is like kind of, I know it's it's a weird childhood dream, but I always dreamt of going onto such a boat and doing something like this. And I feel like this, this is kind of making my dreams come true. I feel like if Martin could talk, this is what Martin would want. Because Martin is not elegant. Martin doesn't want much. Martin is cool. Martin would go to Alaska. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about this, but it's giving Berlin. It's giving, it's giving. Should I wear different shoes with this? No, because I mentioned them in the intro and now I have to wear at least one outfit, but I just did a whole video about these shoes, so I don't want to really include them that much. But like one outfit has to have them, so I got these. Would I probably put on Doc Martens with this in real life? Maybe, but I'm not gonna talk about that and I'm gonna pretend like I chose this confidently and I do not regret my decision. Okay, I do not want to sound like an MLM life coach right now, but I think I might have just found myself. Okay, no, but for real, for real, it does kind of feel great to dress in a way so that other people and not just the kid from the sixth sense can see me. Honestly, I don't I don't even want to say like this boosted my confidence or like my self-love or like my self-worth or whatever it is. It's just like, it's so nice to give yourself the time of day to actually listen to yourself and be like, what do I want? Like, what, what do I think would make me happy? I feel like so respected, so valued, so appreciated by myself and I'm like kind of shook because I mean I guess I kind of found out today that I'm like a nice person like you ever not spend any time with yourself and all of a sudden you hang out with yourself and you're like 
I'm like kind of funny. It's not a terrible thing to say that I love hanging out with myself because, oh bitch, I make myself laugh tears every single day. And so I cannot recommend doing this enough. Like please go onto Pinterest or Instagram or wherever you have like your inspiration, your visions, whatever. Create one of those boards, put like inspirational quotes on there as well. Like whatever motivates you to like give yourself some appreciation because you deserve it. I know our world is like so fast paced and like, you know, you're not really, you're supposed to think about yourself because like individualism, but you're also not supposed to think about yourself because that's like selfish. And it, I don't give a crap. Like it was fun. Okay. I was just a girl dressing up. I was like, I felt like Polly Pocket, you know, that one thing where she goes into like the changing room and you click the button and then she comes back out. This is what I felt like today. Okay. At this point, I feel like I'm tripping over my words because I just, I have so much emotion for you. I would highly appreciate it if you in the comments could tell me about your dream aesthetic because well a i must be honest i am still a very small channel and so any comment any like any share helps me immensely so thank you so much but also b i kind of have like this obsession i love looking up aesthetics i i just i love looking at pictures i love getting new inspiration please i'm so curious what you guys like and that's gonna be it for today i love you you matter i hope that today you did something that was valuable to you we're gonna see each other next week again Okay, maybe show up, maybe don't, you don't have to, but I would be happy about you there, so maybe next week, okay, see you, goodbye, goodbye. No, I'm not gonna do the Shane Dawson, don't be, don't be afraid, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stay far, far away. Also, if you've ever wondered, like, what does it look like after you've tried on all of these outfits? Like, what does your room look like? Let me, let me show you. This. This is what you got. This is what you have. Exactly. But it's okay. Because I love what I do. And so I don't regret this. And the fact that I have to clean all of this up and that I probably have to wash a lot of the clothes because... I'm a quite sweaty girl, so there was sweat on the stuff and I don't, I don't regret any of it.